This is lesson number 13 of the Your First Info product training. And in this lesson, we're going to discuss how to set up your upsell pages. So in the previous lesson, we discussed some platforms that you can use in page builders to get a clean looking sales page using the sales copy that you've already written from a previous lesson. So this step, you're going to take the same sales copy that you're actually created for your upsell and we're going to integrate it into our upsell pages. But I wanted to share with you a couple of just technical things so you understand as you're creating the upsell pages, how your upsell pages will, will work. So you want to set up your upsell pages so you can maximize your revenues. As we've already discussed, you must launch with an upsell if you want to have a chance at success. Your upsells are extremely important to your overall product launch success and whether or not you're going to make maximum dollars or not. In this step, you need to move your sales copy for the upsell to the website page building tool that you are using. And I personally, if I'm using Optimize Press for my front end, I'm going to use Optimize Press for the back end as well. It's very important that you also use a no thanks link that leads on to the next page. And I'll show you an example of that. So as you're building these pages out, make sure that you link to the next part of your funnel, which maybe is the second upsell, or maybe it's to the end of the funnel where they can download the front end product at that point. This no thanks this no thanks link should be prominent and stand out. That's very important because if you do not make it prominent, do not make it stand out, you're actually going to be leaving people that are going to just leave the page and they're going to lose out on seeing the rest of your funnel, which means you're going to lose out on that revenue because they are not seeing that offer. When you set up the page properly, you will guide people through the sales funnel. So it's really important that you set up these pages correctly inside your page builder. So you'll notice this is an example of an upsell page that I have going for a current live funnel. So after people purchase the product, they're taken to a page that looks like this, where we talk about I can get a license to resell this product. So there's my product there. You'll notice that right below the buy now button on that funnel, that's where I include the no thanks link. When they click on that no thanks link, they are then taken directly to the next page in the sales funnel. And I like to include it below the buy now button. Even if I have multiple buy now buttons, I will include that no thanks link multiple times. A lot of people just include it just the one time or they include it at the very bottom or they use very small font because they don't want to draw attention to it. It's actually quite the opposite. You want to draw that attention to it because you want to make sure that they click on that instead of exiting out because if they exit, they're not going to see the rest of your upsells if you have several upsells in place. And so that takes them to the next offer. And again, you know, these pages are set up using optimized press, so very basic but clean. If they click on no thanks, they're taken to the download area, continue to the download area. From here, uh, they'll click on no thanks, they're taken to the other part of the funnel as well. And at the very end of the funnel, I kind of keep my no thanks link a little bit smaller because at the very end of the funnel, they're going to access their download from their email. If they were to exit out, they're going to see it in their inbox. And also, I don't want to draw attention away from my higher ticket offer um, that's there. So make sure when you're setting up these upsell pages in your page builder of choice that you are using the no thanks link to guide people through the funnel as well. And so when you I say guide them through the funnel, you would set up a link to go to the next page in there. And again, the tools you can use, the page builder tools that we talked about in detail in the last call or the last session, it was click funnels, lead pages, Optimize Press, which is my page of choice, page builder of choice, and then Composer.net. And so these are the tools you can use to lead people through your sales funnel.